Hello guys and welcome back to Sim UK. Just one more day to go and you guys can get your hands on this absolutely fantastic game. Now apologies, I had a couple of videos out over the last uh, few days and the feedback was less than positive. Well I do apologise, I am putting a lot of time and effort into making these videos but also I am talking to the devs, I am highlighting bugs, I am editing, rendering. There's a lot going on here and that's not even beginning to bring into the fray the fact that I have a family and a job that I have to attend to as well. So apologies, not all videos are going to be great, some of them are going to be awful. We have got a job here. We have got a job here. Let's have a look at the job. Um, deliver fillets to Hammerfest. Well, we could do that. We could definitely do that. Um, bit, of, bit of cash in the bank. Now, someone did say perhaps that um, upgrading your... Increasing your reputation at uh, a port might well unlock new features. Well, it doesn't seem to be that way. It just seems to be that some ports do have stuff and some ports do not have stuff. Now, this is going to be my last Let's Play video. So uh, let's crack on. Let's head back to Hammerfest, get this dropped off. So I'll see you when we get there, guys. I'll see you when we get there. Just smash the hole up. That's nice, isn't it? Luckily, we've got the super duper flipping awesome Harold who can just fix the boat up whilst we're uh, sailing along so come on Harold uh, she's cooking burgers you carry on cooking burgers Harold my intention is to upgrade to the next boat now that's a heck of an ask because we have to travel quite a long distance in order to unlock the license and the boat itself is like 1.9 million kroner we've only got 166,000 in the bank so it's going to take a while, it's going to require a lot of fishing and a lot of cash and probably some bank loans. Ooh, looks like we've got a new hotspot over here. Right in front of Hammerfest as well. Uh, oh, I see, there's a bit of land in the way. Okay, so I think we ought to head down there and uh, drop this load off and uh, we'll probably drop some nets off on the way in. And um, yeah, we'll drop some nets off on the way in and then uh, take this delivery in as well and um, we'll just try and maybe we can get about half a million uh, then maybe we can borrow the rest from the bank let's see how we get on it's pretty dark and pretty foggy out here guys this uh, searchlight is absolutely um, pointless I cannot see a flipping thing now I know if it's foggy it kind of rebounds back at you but it just doesn't highlight anything in the distance Maybe when we get to Hammerfest, I'll um, do a demonstration just to show how bad it is. Incidentally, guys, I've had a few people sort of giving me uh, feedback about me complaining about how easy things are and so on and so forth. One thing I haven't mentioned to you guys is this absolutely amazing logbook. It's just superb. It tracks everything. So it sets the date that you dropped it, the time you dropped it, how many hours it's been in the water. It gives you the exact GPS coordinates. Uh, the haul date and the haul times uh, don't currently work, but it does give you the total haul collected. And this, this, all this information is tracked throughout. It's um, just continuously uh, tracking. And you flick back as far, right back to our very first catch. And I absolutely love this. I love the penmanship, I love the uh, font that they use. It's just really, really bloody awesome. Um, so yeah, I mean, when people are complaining... <clears throat> so when I'm saying to people, maybe we don't need the green highlights around the buoys and so on and so forth, and people are saying, well, you don't know how long it's been in the water. If you hover over it, it gives you information, but equally, it tells you everything you need to know here. You just look at the time and then uh, see what time you set it and then look at the time up here. And then, eat quite easily, you know pretty much when to go pick the thing up. You could even enter the coordinates into the GPS system in the future, and just uh, a little waypoint will pop up there. It also tracks the seasons and everything that you do, all of the events that you might come across, any jobs that you've covered. Um, I think I've only got two, yeah. The jobs, uh, obviously we've got one in progress, um, gear again. The sales that you make, now I've got like 26 pages of, of sales that we've made, but it tracks everything. Absolutely superb. The logbook for me, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So here we are guys, rolling back in now to super duper lovely spunky Hammerfest. 
but uh, we're going to drop some nets down here before we go in and uh, I'd like to get two down now I know there's a lot of <clears throat> anti dropping two nets too close to each other for good reason um, but unfortunately even a small net with a bad haul will get you a full boatload and you'll have to go back to port so whilst the game is this like this and completely unrealistic we need to just basically deal with the game the way that it is and the way that it is requires me to drop two lines fairly close to each other but also close to port because there's no way I can go far out lay a net lay two nets and <clears throat> get back to port to unload the boat and then get back out there it just it's not possible now one recommendation a viewer of mine made was that apparently you can offload your catch to some boats that sort of hold it I, I assume they take a percentage and they take it back to shore for you now that's a fantastic idea and that would really make things uh, work a lot better as they are now but I think realistically the amount of fish that we catch in in each net is just too much uh, and the hold is getting full way too quickly. But that's just my opinion, that's my opinion. I've given you my reasons for it, and I understand that not everybody agrees with me, and that's absolutely fine. So we're gonna make sure that these two nets are at least um, 0.6 kilometers apart. Um, it's quite a wide hotspot here, so we'll just, we'll drop them uh, as and when, as and where uh, that break is, and we'll try and get as, as good a catch as we can. I've got a brilliant idea about gutting fish, going back to port um, and just getting the most out of your catch. So we'll discuss that at the time. I think it's going to work superbly. Uh, and if it does, then it's a really good tip for you when you're playing this game. So let's uh, let's progress. Let's drop these nets and then uh, and then I can show you what my idea is. So here we are, just rolling back into Hammerfest now. Ease off the power. I really wish I could dock from within here, but anyway, I understand. Or do it manually would be good too. Right, so, as soon as we dock, should we, what do we have to do to complete the job then? Ah, oh, there we go. Mission complete. Bob is very happy with the fish you've delivered for him. Congratulations. Reputation with Hammerfest is, has improved. Reputation with Ford has improved. And we get 91,000 krona, which is just perfect. 257,000 in the kitty. We're a long way off 1.9. You can see that we're a, a fine captain, does that say? Yeah, our reputation has gone up. That's good to see. Okay, well, uh, we've got fish... Uh, sorry, we've got nets out to catch fish. Fish. So what we're going to do here is we're going to sleep. Now, I'm going to kip for just 10 hours. That should be done now. And basically go straight back out and drop our second line so that they're now 10 hours apart. This gives us time to go out there, grab them, process them, get them back to shore, gut them and everything else that we need to do so we're going to make sure that we put a decent amount of distance on this um, it's going to be kind of guesstimate or you know um, best guess judgment but uh, yeah it should work it should be fine it's a big hot spot we should be able we should be able to catch fish on both sides of that hot spot A 
Okay, so we've reached our point here. I think this is a good spot. There's lots of fish. We'll just start dropping our second net here. Taking it nice and easy, nice and gentle, and uh, just, well, I mean, there's no waves. It's not very difficult today, so pretty straightforward, easy process. So now that's down, we can just spin around. Still got 11 hours point, uh, 11 and six, 11 hours and six minutes in the water there. So we can just head back to shore. And um, yeah, again, we're just gonna skip time and then come back out and grab these in a bit. Okay guys, so I've skipped time and uh, we're just gonna head out here and um, pull in our nets get uh, Harold on the net haul position and uh, very very difficult to see out here I've got the searchlight on but really it isn't helping me I mean look at this I cannot see a flipping thing it doesn't highlight anything so like we've got a blue marker just to our right there but up here somewhere is our oh, let's just swing around I can't really see anything with the searchlight on, I can't really see anything with the searchlight off. It's very difficult in first person to see what you're doing, which is a shame because this is the way I'd like to play most of all. There's a nice little S Ben Chicane type thing going on there, wasn't it? Incidentally, if you look at the GPS, um, the markers are not accurate. Oh, I've completely gone off on a tangent here, haven't I? Not on a tangent, but I'm. Where is that flipping marker over there look just disastrous where's the last one? Oh, there's the last one oh, I'm just gonna go straight to the last one because ugh, there's no point in doing it in systematic in a systematic fashion so the the, the flags on the um, on the GPS don't really accurately indicate where they are in real life now I'm trying to identify where the heck my uh, buoy is with my line with my net attached and I apparently I'm right near it with the searchlight I cannot see a thing I cannot see a thing ah look at that look how close I have to be to that before I can see it that's just craziness personified you can see it clearly when you're like right on it but I mean that's no good is it searchlight is when you're searching for something Anyway, that's my little rant and moan about the searchlight. Hopefully it'll get fixed in time. Pull up alongside here. Ah, oh, I forgot, you can't do it in first person, you have to go third person. Yes, we'd like to haul in the net. Okay, here we go. Bit of redfish. Bit of pollock or haddock. Can never tell them apart. I think these are probably Pollock, because there's so many of them. Incidentally, our quota for redfish is really small. Um, and because we are accidentally catching so many redfish, even though we're not actively trying to do so, we are going to pretty much hit our limit for redfish before anything else. So there is a bit of a concern around that. I did read somewhere that you can buy, you can pay to increase your quota on fish. Now, I, I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but it was my understanding that the government dictate what your quotas are, and you can't just buy more. I mean, that makes no sense. In real life, I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, let me know in the comments section if you actually know how that works. I'd be interested to find out. Okay, not bad. 380s, 380s, 479... Would you like to gut the fish? No, I've got a Harold for that job. There you go, Harold. Now, I've got an idea for this, guys. Uh, he's got four burgers, so we're gonna take we're gonna take him we're gonna get him gutting the fish. Um, and we're gonna take him back to port. And uh, we're we're gonna rest 
whilst he's working. And if he gets tired, we'll chuck him a burger. That's, that's the plan. It's going to work, trust me. But before we go to port, we do need to drop another line. So I'm literally just going to drop a line here where we are. Uh, this will give uh, Harold a bit of extra time to, to um, process some fish, cutting of fishes as well. So let's do that and then we'll head back to port. So guys, I just, again, I, I know I'm moaning about this a lot, but I'm using the searchlight to identify where the wall of the dock, the harbour wall is. As far as I can tell, I'm right on it, but I can't see it anywhere. Look at that. In third person view, you can see it. It kind of highlights uh, the sign and you can see where you're going. But as soon as you go in first person, I can barely see a thing. That, that's a problem. That definitely needs to be addressed. Right, enough moaning. Let's get in support. Okay, so we're just rolling into port here. Now, we're not going to sell our fish. We're going to cancel that. And what we're going to do... Um, First thing I'm going to do is buy some fuel, because we're pretty low. Oh no, I've only got 1,252 in the bank, haven't I? Forgot about that. Okay, um, fine. So we've got 34 kroner left. Uh, we don't, we've don't. we got another five days before we have to pay our bank fee, so that shouldn't be an issue, of course. Um, right, so my technique, my idea, my plan is to skip time again. We'll do a test first. Uh, I'll just do two hours. And then we have to go uh, go fishing again, and then I can just check here. So he's got plenty of stamina, and he's he's got two bars there. So let's just do it again, and see if cancel the fish thing, and just see if he does still process fish whilst we are resting. So let's go for four hours because he's got a bit of stamina, and then just see where we are. Yes, he's definitely processed more fish, so that's good. And his stamina is quite low, so I think probably in two hours he's going to be tired. So, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so before we go out and collect our next net, um, I mean, he's not going to probably process all of them. I don't think he'll have enough time before we have to go and get the next net in. But, uh, that's see, that's ready to be pulled in. It's green and it's been out for 17 and a half hours already. So... I suppose we got a couple of hours before we have to go get it. So maybe he can process a few more fish in that time. No, we're going to have to sell. So that's 119,000. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. We're certainly out of the financial issues we were in just now. We'll fix the net. I think we'll pick up another 75 because you can fill the boat with a 75. You don't need those big ones at all. They're a complete waste of time and money. Um, Let's go back out and get that net. Okay guys, so another a very successful uh, pull there. Uh, storage is completely full. Now someone suggested... Do I want to gut the fish? No, that's what Harold is for. Someone suggested that the reason why we have half the amount of fish when we get back to port is because we filled the hold up and we had to chuck the rest over the board, overboard. That's quite quite a logical solution, uh, suggestion as to why the amount of fish we have back at port is half the amount of fish that we catch. And that just goes to highlight the fact that that needs adjusting. Now there's a big, big update coming. Um, that's interesting. That's interesting, he's got full stamina again. That is interesting. Anyway, um, yes. Oh, I, I think I've discovered a bug. A bug that can be used as a cheat. Well, I'm going to check that in a minute. I'll check that in a minute. Anyway, um, yeah, so that could very well answer the reason why we have half the amount of fish when we get back to dock. So it def desperately needs to be fixed. Now, there is a big patch coming uh, just before release date that I don't think any of us YouTubers are going to get access to. So you're going to see it at the same time as we see it on release day. So that would be interesting. I don't know what's in there, but I'm excited to see it. Right, let's get this line put down, head back to shore, and then I'll see 
if this bug slash cheat is a bug slash cheat or not. Let's find out. Okay guys, so we're just coming back into port here. We're gonna say dock, we're gonna say don't sell the fish just yet. And then we're gonna rest. Or skip time, as it says. Let's wait for the boat to face a decent angle. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go a good six hours here and skip. And let's see how much work he's done. Go fishing. And yep, yeah, he's done quite a bit not too bad and he's absolutely exhausted now watch this I think if I put him in rest and give him a burger and then rest for one hour yeah we've got time we've got time so if I rest him for one one hour uh, cancel it's good time okay so he should be fully rested by my logic. And he is. Excellent. So we'll put him back on uh, fish gutting for now. But I think it's possible. I think this is what I think the bug is. Okay. So if I get him to work for two hours. So that has used some of his energy. Okay, I think I might have to do it on the next one uh, because it hasn't really worked out well this time round. But I think if I skip time, he'll process the fish, his energy will go down, but if I do it again, his energy goes up and he still processes the fish. That's what I think the bug is. But uh, because we've got to go collect this net, I can't test it right yet. So we'll have to test that on the next one, perhaps. Um, so uh, for now, I'll just chuck him back in there. I'll process the fish. Whoa! I ne do you know, I never noticed those numbers coming up underneath before. This is hard. Oh, that was a good one. That was a very good one. Yeah, nice. Uh, sometimes quicker is better, sometimes it isn't. It's, it's difficult. It really is difficult. Part of me feels like the fish stomach should probably open up when you're doing this, but anyway. Fairly good. I'll get this done. Five stars, that's pretty darn impressive. Oh, wow. Followed by that abomination. That one's cost us money. Come on now, come on now, come on now. Not good, not good. Wow. There is no technique to that, guys. It's just hard. <laughs> so we'll sell that lot. 135,000. So me processing the fish is very, very quick. And basically, it's cost effective. So it's almost pointless having um, a crew member as it stands. Something needs to be adjusted there, I think. Right, let's go out. Let's get this net. That's red, and that's blue, which is interesting, because it's been in the water for 20 hours already. But, uh, yeah, well, that's the one we need to go get, so let's go get it. Wow, look how many fish are just stuck behind that little bit of uh, wall or shelf there. I think we need to drop a net in just over the edge of that and uh, see how many fish we can get in. What a little beauty. Okay guys, so this is my theory. If we skip for four hours, and then go back to fishing and have a look at Harold. So you can see he's pretty tired, right? 
Now the line, 18 hours. We've got like two hours left before that really has to come in. It's blue anyway, it's not green. We've got ages for this one. My theory is that if we rest again, he'll continue processing fish, but his stamina will go up to full. So let's test that. So we'll go to skip time. We'll do two hours. That'll still give us time to go and get our net in. Go back to fishing and end. Uh, hmm, that's kind of inconclusive. <laughs> I will keep working on this bug. We'll sell, we'll uh, skip time again. Five hours. And now he's exhausted. Right. Oh, it's gone green. And it's been out for one day and one hour. Wow, that is the longest I have ever ever left a net. I wonder if it's going to be fuller than, than most or just normal. I don't know. Okay, so we'll, we'll try this one more time. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. What do I want to do? I want to gut the fish myself just so it's done. Looks like I've got extra hands there. What was going on there? Oh, that's weird. Oh, I think I know what it is. I think um, I think Harold is helping. <laughs> so Harold appears to be uh, that's definitely a bug. Harold appears to be still processing the gut uh, the fish gutting whilst I'm gutting the fish, which is quite comical. So yeah, I look like I've got multiple arms. <laughs> uh, that's that's quite comical. Right, we'll sell these fish. How much does that get us? 146,000. We're doing all right here. That's nearly 400,000 krona we've picked up. All right, let's uh, do it all over again. Go and get the fish. Put out a net. Come back in. Oh, look, he had full stamina. That's the bug I'm talking about. He had full stamina there and he shouldn't have done because he hasn't rested. Okay, I'm intrigued. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that one. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it.